Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on the Westbridge Hills map in my test game for my 14th video about course play. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use course play for tedding and raking hay. If you're new to course play and you missed the first 13 videos, you might want to go back and start from the beginning. There's a link in the description to my course play tutorial playlist. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to hop into our first tractor here. Now, if you remember from our previous video, we've already mowed this field, and we also recorded a course uh, that's the perimeter of this grass field. If you haven't seen the previous video yet, you might want to go back and check it out. We'll show you how to make that course, because we're going to use that same course that we saved for uh, tatting and raking. So to set this course up, we just want to put our tractor into field work mode. Uh, we'll go ahead and open this up so that we can measure the width of it. Next you want to select the Manage Courses tab and you want to pick the course that recorded in the previous video so that's uh, Southwest Grass Field. We'll load that course up uh, and then if we go and click this you can see the course runs around the perimeter so that's the, that's the right one that we want. And then we'll come over here to Course Generation and you see we've got currently loaded course as our edge path, that's what we want. We can calculate our working width, which is set 12.8. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll set that right at 12.5. There we go. And our starting corner, we can see here we're at the northwest side of this field. And we're going to head east. So northwest, and we're going to head east, and we don't really need to return back over here, so we'll leave that deactivated. Then we'll go ahead and generate our course. So now you can see we're going to start here, we'll go down to this short part, and then we'll come down and back and forth and back and forth all the way across. So we can fold this back up since course play is going to do that automatically anyways. And we're going to tell it we want to drive at the first waypoint, and we're going to tell it to drive course. As you can see, course play is now automatically unfolding the tether. It'll set it down and turn it on, and then it'll start driving the course. So what I'm going to do is we'll follow this guy for probably about three rows and then I'm actually going to start the rake up and we'll run the rake at the same time as the tether. I'll fast forward through the next three rows. All right, looks like we got a little bit of a problem here. Um, because this is wider than the mower was, it wants to do its next row starting down there. And um, this is kind of one of the problems with course play is it won't, when it does this point to point transfer where it stops working over there and then drives to the next part before it starts work again, it doesn't stay inside the field so it just goes in a straight line from one to the other so it's gonna hit over here um, there's not a lot we could do about this other than sticking with a, a more square field so what I'll do is I'll just drive this down here and then we'll pick it back up at the next point.
Alright, so there we use the... I always try and use current first. Um, I have the best luck by using current waypoint to resume, but it, it didn't seem to want to pick it up there, so we did closest. And so now this will this will keep going, and hopefully now we would we won't have any more problems with it. So again, I'm gonna let them get uh, at least to this course, and then we'll start the rake. All right, so now our our tether's going to keep going up and down the field. He's going at 11 miles an hour, and I think these two have basically the same working width, which means if we keep this guy to 11 miles an hour or close, he won't we won't have to worry about him catching up to the tether. So for this, we basically do the exact same thing. Uh, we're going to come in here and we're going to pick. Southwest grass field, and then we're going to come over here to course generation, and we're going to have it auto detect our working width, which is 12.5, which is exactly what I set the tether to. Um, our starting corner is northwest, and we're going to head east, and we're not going to return, we're not going to make a headland, so we'll generate, so then we're going to start right here. Uh, and since this is almost the exact same, well, it is the exact same course as the tether, uh, we could have just copied the course from the tether. Uh, and we're also probably going to have the same problem down here uh, when we get to the end of this short row. Like I said, if, if you wanted to prevent that, then what I should have done when I recorded the perimeter was just record it perfectly rectangular uh, and not worry about trying to get these little extra bits here. Um, it's really just personal preference. It's just good to see that this can be a problem when you're trying to use course play on irregularly shaped fields. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start this guy. As you can see, course play will just fold that back up again. That's why a lot of times I fold it up anyways. All right, yeah, it looks like we're gonna hit here, so I'm just gonna fold this up and drive up to the next point and start over again. All right, so then we'll just follow along and watch these guys finish up this field here.
Alright, so that concludes the 14th video in my course play series. In the next video in this series, I'll cover using course play for baling hay. If you're interested in trying out course play, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer, thanks for watching.